second now. Any second now. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the in StarCraft.de Hot Invitational. And this is the grand final. Currently, 1-0 up. Oh, sorry, 1-0 down. Yep. No, yeah, 1-0 up. Sorry, I was on the wrong screen. It's currently 1-0 up in this extended best of three. Playing as the Red Protoss, we have Sage. And spawning on the left-hand side of the Core Hull Citadel. Playing as the Blue Zerg and currently 1-0 down in this extended best of three, we have Bly. Yep, and um, what, a, what a tournament so far it's been. You know, it's, it's for my first HOTS tournament, I, I really think we've gotten a whole lot of everything. We saw some we saw some insane macro games, we saw just some, some extreme aggression games, we saw Nidus's all over the place, you know, we saw a 6 pool even, which has... I, I don't know, I think it was a 7 pool technically, but you know, it's, it's been so long since I saw one of those. We've, we've pretty much seen everything. I think the only unit that we haven't seen yet is the uh, the Zerg flying gun over here one, which I've, the name escapes me. <laughs> yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. <laughs> I didn't see Battlecruz or... or um, Viper, it? sorry, Viper. Vi yeah, Viper, yes. of course. We didn't see Battlecruisers. We didn't see... Uh, God, what is it? Uh, I, I can't uh, think... For Protoss, we're missing an air unit. Oh, uh, carriers. Carriers. Are, yeah, they're in again, We've right? We need every hot unit. Yeah, those. okay. Yeah. yeah, let's put it that way. Yeah, that's, that's good enough. Yes. <clears throat> Meanwhile, though, you know, I, I gotta say, we didn't see a single mirror either. Uh, no, we didn't. We managed to avoid the ball. We managed to dance around. The only mirror, I think, in this tournament was Sage versus Real, the winner's bracket final, and we avoided it. We went for Mora Bly and died. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> Forty-nine minute game. That was great. That was an amazing game, though. It was. It was an incredible game. And the yeah, the probe does get in, scouts around, sees the spawning pool. We'll go over here and see the expansion. So nothing hugely special out of both of these players. Sage is fairly walled off, getting his warp gate. So we will see him throw down his expansion fairly soon as well. Yep, meanwhile, you see Corona Boost here on the Cybercore. So that's uh, sold business as usual. No expansion yet for say. Oh, again, we have a pause. Come on, Bly. Bly has delayed this game so much so far. But he's. The majority of times he's been right to. He's been checking the replay, and then it was the wrong map. So just second while he sorts something, and off we go again. But yeah, we should see Sage expanding fairly soon. That or throwing down another three gateways. Oh, there, there is a gateway. Um, there's two gateways. Uh, okay. <laughs> the aggression are going to come out from Sage. He's going to try to get something done. Wow. Yeah, he's, he's definitely going to throw in something. We're either going to see another gateway or a tech build. Oh, will these links see the pylon? They yep. will see the pylon. They will get it. But there's obviously a chance for Sage to throw down another forward pylon right now. Still, at this point, it's it's <clears throat> it's tough because you don't have that much. You know, it, every time you have to, to cancel one, you know the lanes are going to be chasing you down after all. So it's it's going to be interesting. Now we do see the first few zealots moving out. We are going to see the Twilight Council follow this up, and I wonder what yeah. he's going to do with this because you know you have this big open ramp which is okay to engage up. Meanwhile, you know, there's a lot of links now coming out for Bly, so Bly somehow. Uh, with with the read here, expecting that there's uh, a lot of aggression coming out, he's only now scouting. Actually, not even scouting yet. He's got his overlord just sitting out. I think the it's front. because he saw that forward pylon. He's bound to think there's something coming. Yeah, I, I think he's just making sure. You know, he's playing safe and uh, getting another sport, a spine crawler here. Yeah, absolutely. But here comes the aggression. I'm wondering what that Twilight Council is going to be used for, whether it's or whether it's just just in case you go to late game. But the Zealot's moving forward, mass Zealot here against mass Ling. Spine, first spine crawler will finish up, but the Zealots are like, I want none of that. 
And they're moving down forward pylon in the main base of oh, Blight. It's going to make it very difficult. And he gets this around on the Zealot. So Zealot slowly go down using the probe to help engage here. Zealot taking so much damage, but they will live. More Zerglings coming in and the Zealots are just being killed off one by one. Will we see a war pin by Sage? DT Shrine on the way. That's what the Twilight Cancel was for. It's, it's going to be so such a long time before that DT Shrine can actually kick in though. DT Shrine has a long build time, of course, you know, it costs a lot of gas as well. But right now, the aggression that Sage is putting on, it, I don't it, don't think it'll last long enough for the, the Dark Shrine to finish. No, but he's warping in more Zealots into the main base. There's so many Lings out right now that the Zealots are just being picked off slowly, one by one. DT oh, Shrine is about halfway done. I don't think this is going to last long enough. And even if it did, their lair is about halfway done. So Sage will have detection very soon. Sorry, uh, Lai will have to take yeah. first. So we'll have to see if we can actually get anything done with this. It's going to be tough. See another gas here going down now for Bly. This is going to be on two gas. Uh, it's going to be spreading a creep, which is nice. And then he doesn't have an Evo Chamber quite yet. So that's something at least. Meanwhile, Bly is no scout yet. So he doesn't know about the DT Shrine yet. The DT Shrine now is done. So now we can see some DTs actually warping on in. Where is it? There it is. Hit him around the back, so he will move that into the main base, see what he can get. There is no detection yet, but the lair is now finished. We will see an Overseer morphed very soon in order to deal with exactly this scenario. Just, however, for the moment, it will sneak past. He started one in Castled One. Now he's building another one in Overseer. Okay, oh. and the DT has made it in. A second one is being built as well. There's two uh, Overseers right now trying to deal with this. And this DT is, is focusing down these drones here, um, being microed fairly well by Sage here. Meanwhile, there's another DT in here in the, in the other mineral line, doing a little bit of damage, but really this isn't paying for itself quite yet. No, this is this is, wasn't worth it for Sage, nope. I think. Now he's 20 supply behind. It's not looking pretty. Oh, Spores don't require an Evo anymore? She is what I know. Uh, they... he hasn't built any spores yet that no, I knew. But, no, but I mean, apparently in, in chat someone is saying that spores don't require any Evo anymore. That's kind of weird. I think that... I don't think that's true. I think, I don't that, think, I think that is true, because I think I remember reading something about that. Um, oh, there is! There's no Evo in the field and you can build spores. I just went and clicked yeah. on his drones. Yeah, I no, stand, I, 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 I read right. about that, uh, you know, come to think of it. It just it hasn't registered yet, obviously, because I don't... Yeah. I haven't been able to play any. I... have to say, that's, uh... That, that's gonna make this DT play, you know, even even more of a weird. It's gonna make scenario. DT heat damn near impossible in Z, in a PVZ. Yep, and I've seen him being very viable in any other matchup. Uh, you know, the only thing you can basically do in PVP, you know, if you're behind, try to DT and hope for a miracle. Yeah, see what you. Hopefully, you can kill stuff. Hopefully, he doesn't have detection. Yeah, otherwise they're they're pretty much gonna be. Deprecated into, into uselessness, I think. Well, you know, you, you can argue that you can use them to make archons. Yeah, you know, if you if you want to. Yeah. If you don't want to go with the high templars, just because of your your gas mineral uh, income. This is true, and that is a very good point. Uh, the reason uh, spores don't require an Eva anymore is so that pro zergs don't die to widow mines. Which uh, is yes. a, it's a fair one because widow mines come out really quickly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Having widow mines in the natural, uh, you know, your mineral line that can be pretty annoying. That would be very annoying indeed. And we're seeing a couple spine crawl. The spine crawler wall is beginning to shuffle forward for Bly, along with his lings. Blink is on the way for Sage, who is still currently about 30 supply behind. So this isn't great yeah, here. For honestly, Bly here is kind of aggressive right now, but he is going to go aggressive with the mutas. He's going to have the spine crawlers basically to, to hold the choke, so he doesn't need to worry about any kind of counter attack. You know, he's going to have his, his three base, and then he's going to be able to crunch out a lot of mutas and should be able to finish this. Yep, that does sound about Ooh, a right. A lot of stalkers, though. A lot of stalkers. Stalkers beginning to move forward as well, getting ready to engage, getting ready to try and kill off some stuff. They may catch the muters, but the muters are just going to fly straight across the map. Mothership Core does see them, so that's a they bad know exactly match what's for going Bly. on right now. Oh, there's the blink going to get all of those muters. That is oh, well, snap. The, that is perfect right now. And here we go, Sage. This is the perfect time for it to push. It's killed off a lot of the gas income. 
sorry, a lot of the, where the gas has gone for Fly right now. He needs to move in. He has the motion core. He has the blink. He's going to walk into blink into the main base. This is the perfect thing he can do right now. He's using the smart blink up, and the Zerglings aren't enough. He thinks Obviously he can still walk in on the background. No, no such. Nope. Can't do that anymore, but there's enough. No, he's just continuing to blink up. He, he walked into talks on the low ground. He can still blink them up. Ah, micro sure. backwards. He's probably going to see some blink micro onto the other side. There we go. Onto the lower ground. And there's so many Zerglings right now, though, but the Zerglings aren't doing any more damage once the Stalkers have walked into the low ground. Muters are slowly going down one by one. All the Stalkers now on the low ground. He still has the high ground vision, and those units have to pull back. Well, I gotta say, that was, that was a bit of an equalizer still. There's more drones out than there's probes, so it still uh, lies in a good position. But on the other hand, you know, a little bit of something-something that Sage is showing off. Yep, absolutely. Blinking back was trying to avoid those Lings. Lings getting a couple Stalkers here, but the Blink Control out of Sage is relatively good, keeping the majority of his Stalkers alive and managing to do huge amounts of damage to those Muters. But look at all his Stalkers. None of them are on full health except for one in the top corner and a couple that have just joined. Spinecrawl is going to go down uncontested. His third could be at risk here. This is... Through and is he going to attack up the main ramp? There's only two spine crawlers here. There is a third one, but it's unburrowed. So as of yet, if Sage does win this, then he takes the champ. He takes the tournament. Or if Bly wins this, that we go to a tiebreaker to see who will win. And Sage is trying to keep on the aggression here, and that's what he needs to do. Or he is going to lose this right now. Uh, once I again, high ground vision. So he can go in once again. I mean, Mutus obviously is a bad match uh, matchup for uh, for Bly against yeah, the Stalkers. So oh, here, here we, we go. go. It's good though. Only half the Ling's engaging though. Here come the other half. Mothership Court is trying to deal damage, but these Mutus will be able to focus that down to prevent any kind of other high ground blink up. But Sage continues just to blink onto the low ground. But there's so many Mutus right now, and the Ling's just make it impossible for Sage to get anything done yeah. here. He's just continuing to warp in units. This is pretty much all in from Sage. If this doesn't kill Bly, he is out right now. His, his spores, uh, you know, sorry, his spores. His Mutus might have just reached critical mass. Uh, you know, once yes. you reach critical mass, because of the splash damage, you do so much damage that Blink suddenly just doesn't cut cut it anymore. You know, you can't really macro all storms. you just disappear. You need storms if it gets to that level. And here we go. Uh, Sage is trying to push forward, but we'll see so many Mutus right now. Focusing down the bubble ship core, high ground vision is gone. Muters are pushing forward right now. There's not enough stalkers. We will likely see a GG right now. Two more stalkers warping in, but everything dies. Yeah, Still, a lot of lanes, here. it was a nice attempt, but so many yeah. meters left. 